Wow, a house. Hi, I'm Garrett. And I'm Nikki. Sorry, go Hi. ahead. Hi! No, Come no worries. <laughs> All good. No, you're fine. No, you did a great job. Wow, a house. Hi, I'm Garrett. And I'm Nikki. We're fascinated by how other people live. And we're gonna try to find some really interesting living situations. And live there, experiencing a totally new lifestyle. Thing is, we don't really know each other that well. Mm, yeah, no. But we're gonna live together with total strangers. This week, we're living in a communal pot share. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Podshare. Thank you so much. My name is Alvina. I'm Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Garrett. Hey, Garrett. Podshare is a co-living, co-working community across multiple addresses in the city of Los Angeles. Wow, this is beautiful. This is huge. Yes. I don't know why I thought this would be small. We live no. small, but like in a big space, but with a lot of people. So since 2012, we have hosted over 10,000 people across the world. For any duration of time, you can stay one night, you can stay multiple months. It really doesn't matter as long as you're open to sharing. There's toiletries in the bathroom, oh, oh, and then great. there's food in the kitchen. So anything marked shared, you guys can eat at any point. And then the big rule at Podshare is the quiet hours. So after 10 p.m. and until 10 a.m., please turn your phones to vibrate and whisper. From 10 p.m. Whisper? Since the tiny house, basically Nikki and I arrived back at work and split off in different directions. I don't think we've talked very much other than for the video. Yeah, I don't know what he's been doing for the last few weeks. These are the pods. Oh my goodness. So here we have 38. There's 38, mm -hmm. wow. What makes pods different than bunk beds is the stairway. Oh. And this is something you'll never find in any like bunk bed or like, right. we hate the word, so I'm gonna say it, but like just one time, like we hate hostel. The goal of Podshare is actually to be the first subscription housing model in the city of Los Angeles and in the state of California and then the country. But imagine paying one monthly fee and living anywhere in the country or maybe the world. That's what a global citizen is. 25 and 27? I want this one. Sure, I'll be 27. 25. These are like adult bunk beds on drugs. Like this is totally fine, right? <laughs> like. Yeah, this isn't terrible. About Garrett, let's do it. How many siblings does Nikki have? Crap. Maybe he has, I'm gonna say, uh. I think Nikki has two sisters. I'm gonna say he has a sister. Don't think Nikki has a middle name, but her full name is not Nikki, it's Nicola. Garrett's middle name is Martin. Martin. On our own TV? Ooh! So these are 22 inch flat screens, and you guys have HBO Go, Netflix, Hulu. HBO? Yeah, you can watch your favorite shows. <laughs> yes, okay. We felt a community is like a circle, and it's an open floor plan where, like, you see me, I see you, so trust is established. So nobody hooks up no. pod sharing. No pod sex is no the joke. No pod sex. Is that a joke or a rule? No That's pod no sex. No pod sex, okay. No, no. Goals for the pod share. Garrett and I have to make a friend. A total stranger that I do not know right now, I want to be friends with them. Two, and this one's probably gonna be very hard, I want to get invited to Nikki's wedding. People want to share two uh -huh. in a pod. They have these double-sized pods, these queen-sized pods. Wow, But still no pod sex. Still no pod sex. So here there are four toilets and there's three showers and it's all co-ed, so you guys can use first come, first serve. I think one of my goals is to see if maybe anyone would be interested in Garrett. She's getting married in like a month. So it's kind of late in the game, but if she and I can become close enough friends that she feels bummed that I'm not gonna be at her wedding, that shows big progress in our relationship. And he believes in love, he did tell me that. So maybe he will find love in this pod chair. Are you this good is... at basketball? No. <clears throat> See? This is such a great space. And these come on at night and then it's pretty zen. You live here yeah, permanently. Yeah, permanently, a pod share, yeah. So like I'll crash at any pod, I don't have an apartment. Wow. Will I ever have my own apartment again? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> pod share. Okay, so I don't. Bam. But I, I could put it up on that little hook up there. I yeah, think. there you go. Okay, we're here in the pod chair in Venice. We're literally in my pod. It's like five feet between your bed and mine. Yeah, like, and my feet hang off like to Oh, here. do they? <laughs> yeah, they're going to hang off all so the way. So the up. bed's too small for you? Everything's too small for me in this world. I need to change into pants because it's 100 degrees and I want to wear my shorts. I'm not There's this little that. closet right here. Yeah, I don't think that's what it's for, but maybe. <laughs> I don't want to go to the bathroom. I can, I can guard the closet for you. Back in the closet. All right. 
Oh God. Yeah, when we first got here, I was very nervous. Like it's one thing to live with you, you're one person, but mm -hmm. now there's a lot of people I have to live with and a lot of them are boys. Yeah, so you've gone from living with one boy once <laughs> to, to now living with- A lot of boys. Like 20 boys? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is this how you're gonna change all the time, Nikki? No. Oh. Okay. You're good? Wait, let me out. That was like the worst magic trick ever. <laughs> It's like a very college e vibe. It's like a very social vibe. Everyone's yeah. just kind of hanging out, walking around. Like, it could be really fun. They're talking about doing a barbecue tomorrow. We can play volleyball and basketball and ping pong. Like, I feel like a little kid at summer camp. It really does feel like summer camp. If we're going to be living with, what is it, 36 other people, I'm gonna see how many of them I can meet. Like, how many people I can shake their hands. Ooh. So, that's good. Oh God, that's so many people. That's a lot of people. Hey, champ. Hi. Uh, how goes making a friend? Um, I just needed some time. I don't think there is such a thing as I some know, time here. I know, that's why I was trying. <laughs> it's just different for you and for me to meet. That's true. Different. All right, if you want time to yourself, I'm gonna go meet this person. Have fun. Hi, my name's Hi. Garrett. I'm Julia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Julia. What are you working on? So far, I think I'm liking this more than Nikki. Everybody here is like really friendly and I'm really starting to get the hang of the communal living aspect. I'm kind of exhausted meeting people and being invested in meeting people is personally exhausting. It's not something that comes easily to me. Okay. Have a good night, Jordy. Bye. 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 See, like if I were at home right now, I'd be like playing video games in my underwear. So far, I think I'm making more progress with the total strangers than I am with Nikki. <laughs> I think she's kind of in an uncomfortable position with so many strangers. I don't blame her, it's pretty uncomfortable. This space is the only space that belongs to me and like anyone could look inside, which is crazy. There's like no space to retreat. I need to not think about what others think of me right now. Even though I've got, what, 36 roommates, the roommate I'm most focused on is Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Well, it's like 7 a.m. It's too bright for me to keep sleeping. So since I can't keep sleeping, I'm gonna go for a run. So far this commune lifestyle has me being a little healthier. I woke up this morning and just like immediately like you roll over and you can see like six people sleeping. Garrett and I are gonna make breakfast. We got some avocado toast and hopefully other people will want to share with us and we'll make some new friends. Do you wanna go see if somebody wants this? Sure. It's a good way for you to make a friend. Would you like an avocado toast? Oh, I actually just ate Okay, that's okay. No worries. Anyone want some avocado toast? No, thanks. No? Okay. I hate this so much. Can I just eat this one? No. Nobody wants, everyone ate already. I'll eat this one. How did you sleep? I slept okay. It took yeah. me a while to fall asleep. There's a barbecue tonight. Alvina said I should invite Kelsey. You want to meet her? Yeah, I'd love to meet her. Oh, you going to teach me how to play volleyball today? For realsies? Yeah, I can learn how to play volleyball. Bump, set, spike. Cute. Put your hands together like this, and then fold them over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nikki, let's use that other ball. The best strategy is to just make sure the ball goes high and in the middle of your side. Oh, what? Oh, you go up. Oh. Oh, Nikki, you could have dug that. She's good. She's very good. And my goals were to make a friend. I've done my goal. I've made a friend who will come and get uh, matcha with me. So we did it. But I think I gotta change my goals. I have not yet gotten an invitation to her wedding. Try and get to know some people a little bit better. Make it a vaguer goal of just like, do better at saying hi to people. There's a big barbecue tonight, so I think that'll help. I think her fiance is coming to this barbecue tonight. And maybe if I work on her fiance, one of them will invite me to the wedding. Hi. Oh, you must be Kelsey. It's so nice yeah. to finally meet you. Can I come to your wedding? <laughs> Uh, well. I'm sorry, was that forward? You should grab some food um, and talk over that invite. 
I mean, just get some food. Just get some food. Uh, I mean, you can't come if you want. What? I mean, or not. <laughs> Would you actually come? Where is it? I don't know. It's in I Washington State. I've never been to Washington State. <laughs> okay. Am I invited? If you'd really like to, sure. Now I get to think if I want to actually come. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I did way better today. We had that barbecue in the backyard, jumped into a bunch of different conversations, I met a bunch of new people, and it really, it's not as bad once I just kind of dive in and do it. I'm really proud of Nikki though, because she like really grew to like meet people and like gain this confidence of like, she can go up to anybody and talk to them now. It was like really cool. And I got an invitation to the wedding. I'm an introvert, it's who I am, but every once in a while we can do this. But then I just gotta go back, gotta go home. Living in a pod share is great. You're gonna meet so many interesting people that are gonna come through your life that you would never have encountered. You're gonna become a better person for living here. Like, this place is so unique. Being around so many people and him being the person I know the most, I think has really brought us closer together. No matter what, if I can find Garrett, there's someone who knows me. It made me, like, trust him more, I think, for sure. I did not get anyone to hook up with Garrett, though, so. There's only so much I can do. You're never lonely, but you're never alone. That said, I can't, I, I gotta leave. We gotta get out of here. I wanna just take a shower without wearing sandals. And at some point, I'm gonna need to masturbate. Bye, pod chair. Bye, pod chair.